Good morning, everybody. It's another day, another show. Uh, this is going to be episode four on March 2nd, 2018. Um, again, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at Michael Pina Sr. Uh, like me on Facebook at Pina Financial Coaching. And of course, you can uh, get everything on my website at michaelpinasenior.com. Vince Lombardi said, winners never quit and quitters never win. Um, had a great show yesterday, and um, I think that I'm just going to uh, recap last uh, uh, yesterday's show by, again, bringing up Chris. Uh, Chris, I, I thank you for writing in. Anybody that is viewing any of these, that got any comments, that want to say anything, please leave a comment below. Uh, uh, my email is coachp2210 at yahoo.com. You can uh, leave a comment there for me. And um, like I said, my Facebook page is uh, uh, Pina Financial Coaching. It, it, comment something there. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you're thinking. I want to know what you're saying. Uh, I respect Chris immensely. Um, you know, again, I told you I graduated with him in 1986. And um, a lot of respect for him and his family. I couldn't be more proud of this guy, and, and it makes me feel great to know that people that I went to school with are achieving success in many ways, and I love it when people talk about that family and the success that they're having in that family. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to read you what he sent me yesterday. You know, He said, uh, great workshop today, coach. You are correct. College debt will cripple the next generation. I've got two... I've got two at West Point, and although that their decision, it's their decision, they will have to serve in uniform for five years following graduation, graduating debt-free, and going right into a guaranteed five-year job will set them up nicely. Glad your son has a decent scholarship. Use work study. Uh, join the National Guard, and, and stay away from credit cards. And he said, hit up the Dave Ramsey Emergency Fund savings of $1,000 can be uh, easiest or hardest part of the plan. But it comes in handy for car repairs, home repairs, and unexpected emergencies. I mean, I, I couldn't give any better advice than that. So I'm reading it right off. We're going to talk about Dave Ramsey's seven steps today. But, um, you know, if you're a college student, you know, again, from yesterday... Student debt is really is getting me nervous, and it should get you nervous. So that's some great advice right there from Chris. You know, it, you could join the National Guard. There's a, the, I know there's GI bills and everything like that that can help you um, as far as your college tuition. So, you know, that's great. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I, I thank you and your family for serving this country. I couldn't thank, uh, uh, our country can't be in better hands with people like that. I mean, it's awesome. Thanks again. Okay, so today we're going to get into the Dave Ramsey seven steps. And I waited a little bit. I didn't come right off the uh, first show with this. And this will be the show that we, we reference to. This is episode four. And, and, and I'll reference back to episode four if you need to know or don't understand the, the Dave Ramsey seven steps. But, you know, I wanted to make sure that you understand, you know, like an AA, the first step is that we admitted that we were powerless over alcohol, uh, that our lives had become unmanageable. You have to admit you have a problem, you know, and sometimes in this financial world, you don't think you have a problem. I mean, you, you, you think you've got a nice house, two cars, you know, got the kids and everything like that. But the thing is... You got a four hundred thousand dollar mortgage. You've got forty thousand dollars on on two vehicles that you got to pay. You've got um, you know forty thousand dollars in student loan debt. You've got ten thousand in credit card debt. Uh, that's not a healthy lifestyle. You're not gonna you're not gonna live. You got to live debt free. Okay. So first thing be, before you would even buy into these principles, I tried to like under, get you to understand that there's you have to admit you have a problem in order to, you know, basically follow this philosophy. So with that being said, I'm just going to go through these steps right now, and then in future episodes, we're going to dig deeper. Uh, there's seven steps. 
I believe there's a you know there's a one there's a one A one B two B three B four B whatever. I mean we're gonna talk about everything. We're gonna go in, but the Dave Ramsey seven steps. Okay, and this is our blueprint for your success for financial freedom. Okay, step one. Get a thousand dollar emergency fund right now today. Get a thousand dollars in the bank. Put it aside. That's your emergency fund. Step two. Pay off all debt using the debt snowball. That that's simply listing your debts, lowest to highest, and you're going to knock off those debts one at a time, uh, knocking off the smallest one until we get to the biggest one until they're all gone, except for your home mortgage. Okay, and we'll get to that one. Step three. After all the debt is paid off, except for your mortgage, save three to six months expenses in your emergency fund. So, you know, you got to figure out your expenses. We're going to be talking about a budget tomorrow, but you got to figure out what your expenses are, and then you times that by three. I suggest six. Times it by six. So if you've got, you're spending $4,000 a month on expenses, you know, it, it's not too difficult. Six times four is 24. You need $24,000 in the bank, okay? Uh, step four. Invest 15% of your income in a Roth IRAs and pre-tax retirement, okay? And we're, again, we'll dig deeper into that. Step five, save for your, your kid's college education. If you don't have kids, you can go jump right into step six, which is pay off your home mortgage, all right? So you, it'd be nice to get your, your they, it says you're, you're being weird, you're having your home paid off, but it ain't weird. Believe me when I tell you, and we'll dig into that too. And then step seven, build wealth and give, all right? And, and that's the thing that I love about this entire plan. And, and it's like Dave says, you know, live life today like no one else. So later on, you can live like no one else. So those are the, those are the seven steps, the, the, the philosophy that we'll be following. And like I said, in future episodes, we're going to be talking and digging deeper into this. And, um, you know, uh, today we'll talk a little bit more about step one, that $1,000 emergency fund. If you got more than $1,000 in the bank, that's great, you know. But what I'm looking at and talking about right now is just putting $1,000 set aside. Anything else you have right now in the bank, then you need to put towards your debt. Okay, you need to stop paying off your debt. That thousand dollars you leave in an emergency fund, an emergency isn't Christmas. We know Christmas is coming every year. You know, an emergency isn't that, uh, you know, you got to get a pizza tonight. That's not an emergency. Uh, put the money someplace that you can get to it, but you can't get to it, you know, it, it, where you're going to spend it immediately. So, you know, we opened up an account at Harbor One, wherever you might be living or whatever. Find out where there's a uh, money market account. You know, this money isn't to grow money. It's it's literally for an emergency. It's insurance for you. So the reason why I opened up an account at Harbor One for our emergency fund is that our 1B, like I said, I think there's a 1A, 1B, the you know $1,000 emergency fund. I also going to put money into the money market account for step um step three emergency fund but with my son in college he plays football we still like to travel we still have to go to his games and we got a we got a trip we're planning we're going to um to washington dc to see him play that's our big trip this year but you know what i ain't using credit cards to go um so my 1b is a travel fund because I want to make sure that I have cash, and if we, you know, I'll use a debit card if you if you need something, you know, to rent a car or something like that, or rent a hotel or get a hotel room. I'll use a, a, a debit card. I won't use a credit card. But we're saving money up in the checking account portion of Harbor One for a travel fund, okay? And then the money market account is our emergency fund. So. You have to decide where you're at in life, but you got to get that emergency fund started today. Follow these seven steps. We'll dig deeper into these seven steps. Uh, you know, if, if you want to follow me and you want to get out of debt and you want to have financial freedom, these are the steps to follow. And, and, and if you want to hear more about Dave Ramsey, follow his podcast. I mean, that, that, that that's who I'm living by, um, you know. It, and I, I'm going to dig deeper into some things that I'm doing and that hopefully that you'll do too. So comment, uh, get in touch with me at Um Love to hear from you. And um, we're going to keep on moving forward. 
I want to help you. I want you to help me. And together, we can win. All right? Let's do it, guys.